Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much. On behalf of feminist Mayor Bill de Blasio, <laughs> we are very, yes. <laughs> um, we're very pleased to be part of this fantastic event. It's so incredibly inspiring and, uh, and, uh, and thrilling to be in this room full of such wonderful and powerful women. And especially congratulations to the GemTech Award winners. We'll hear from later tonight. Um, thank you for your good work. And thank you to the sponsors, Mozilla, Microsoft, the Swiss government, Facebook, Verizon, and Civic Hall. It's really, really important to celebrate women in tech and to promote the equal participation of women in the tech ecosystem. Um, <clears throat> for me, it's an incredibly personal story. I started my first company in artificial intelligence in 1985 at the age of 21. I hadn't graduated from college yet, but uh, I'd already written um, some AI software that I just had this burning need to make a company with it. We sold it five years later, but as you can imagine, 30 years ago, that was not really a regular thing to do. Um, I did go back and um, finish my last semester, wrote my thesis on, you can read it, it's on the theory of objective knowledge. Um, <laughs> but, um, but what was more important is that in those 30 years, I saw fewer and fewer women in my meetings, and so, um, in those 30 years, by the end, as the CTO of a major bank, um, I was the only woman in the room. And at one point, I was the only woman in the building. Wow. Now, there was no line for the ladies' room, so there was that. That was good. Um, <laughs> but I really felt that there was something wrong with this picture. And when I got the chance um, to be the first ever Chief Technology Officer of New York, and help to be a role model and a leader and most importantly, be a visible person, a woman in tech. I couldn't say no. After 30 years in, in the technology industry from Palm and I have four patents, I spent 10 years in financial services and 17 years as a CTO, I decided to take a government job. <laughs> People are like, what? Um, <laughs> but, I couldn't help but take this job and, and support um, the possibility that someday a young woman would look up and see the first CTO of New York is a woman and that we will not stop until we realize that coding is a girl thing. So some of the efforts that we've had here in the city in promoting girls and women in tech, just very quickly, we want to build the digital skills. We have the Summer Youth Employment Program and Ladders for Leaders. This is specifically targeted for um, impoverished youth to have a summer job. But this year, um, this past year, and then this coming year, we put a special focus on placing those kids in tech jobs. Um, so we're doubling down on that again. So if you're a company who wants to sponsor um, a summer youth uh, employment, um, summer intern, please let us know. We also have pioneered um, our pilot tech talent pipeline, which is very much focused on um, partnering with industry to develop the skills that they want to hire and then working with educational institutions to produce those skills. It's, it's so unique that now we're working with the White House um, to make this part of a national program, and we hope that we can go global someday. Finally, um, we announced in September computer science for all. In the next 10 years, New York City will provide computer science education to every single New York City public school kid. I went to all New York City public schools as a girl growing up in Queens, the most diverse place on the planet according to, uh, <laughs> according to Lonely Planet is Queens. Um, you know, I never thought that I'd be here on this stage and, and helping to promote and, and um, celebrate women in tech. It, it really is a dream come true. And finally, what I'll say is one of my favorite um, things about this administration is that 
Mayor de Blasio has the highest number of women leaders in his administration in the history of New York City. Over 52% of his commissioners and deputy commissioners are women. So yes, New York is run by women now. <laughs> Welcome. Um, and I'll close by saying one of my favorite things which the mayor has demonstrated. The best way to hire more women is to hire more women. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>